nothing's over till I say it's over. This is the knife from the Rambo movie. And we're going to learn how to make it today on Bob's Woodshop. Please stay tuned. Okay, so after I drew this out, first step is to start cutting it on the porta band. And this is my little Milwaukee bandsaw that I turned into a vertical bandsaw. Once I had that cut out, then I needed to lay out the hole pattern for the sawtooth pattern at the top. And of course, after I got the profile, then I got a lot of sanding to do. I'm sparing you a lot of this footage. But this took about 15 minutes to get this profile that I wanted to do. Once done with the knife, I needed to work on the blade guard. So I had a piece of eighth inch brass and I'm actually making two knives here. I'm making a Rambo knife and I'm also making a metal uh, Predator knife. You'll see that throughout the, the footage here. But I needed to chop up these pieces into quarters and then I got to bring it over to the milling machine. So I didn't have perfect cuts off the bandsaw, so here I'm just trimming up the edge just to get a nice flat surface. And brass cuts pretty easily on a, on a milling machine. This is a little grizzly bench top model that I have. So the blade guard is actually in two different pieces that I will silver solder shortly but I had to cut a groove in two pieces in order to put these two pieces together right above the handle. So to do the silver soldering, I took it over to my buddy Walt. He's a full-time machinist and he's got the equipment for silver soldering, which I do not have. And he made pretty short work out of this. This project actually took about two weeks for a variety of reasons. But once the silver solder is on, I'm using my little grinder here, a little belt sander. This is a 1x32 belt sander. And just cleaning up some of the solder off the brass, as well as putting another surface on the knife itself. So my first choice for the scales was a couple pieces of spalted maple and I actually cut these too thin and ended up changing the design a little later. Uh, for the drilling strategy I drilled the holes in the steel and then glued on one side in order to locate the holes uh, when I glued the other side on. So like I said, I ended up not liking this and really the problem was they were too thin. I didn't have enough of a rounded profile. So I ended up taking these off with one of my wood chisels and said, well, sometimes you just got to back up in order to get what you want. So I'm just breaking the epoxy bond here and then I have to clean it up again with a little belt grinder. And here's a photo of the walnut that I'm putting on. Just re glue that. And then here I'm using my little oscillating spindle sander to help round out the profile. So once I was good with that sanding and the profile was good, just put a little bit of five minute epoxy in to glue in some quarter inch brass dowels. There you see the 
on a Schwarzenegger knife in the background. And then to sharpen it, I used a combination of that little belt sander as well as this grizzly uh, grinding stone. Great little sharpening device, can sharpen all different types of tools. Should be in every guy's workshop. So to finish it up, just use a little bit of boiled linseed oil, and I'll put a couple more coats on this over the next couple days, but we're coming down to the home stretch now. So this is my first time making a knife. I started with a quarter inch by two inch piece of hardened steel. And I think it came out pretty nice. I want to give a big shout out to my good buddy Jim Pollyanni down in Raritan who made the sheath for me. This is made out of Kydex and they put a loop on it and a leather loop as well. And it complements the knife very well. And uh, yeah, overall I think it's pretty good. And I still got to finish up the Arnold Schwarzenegger Predator knife. That's going to be in the next day or so, but here's just a few stills of this this knife, and hopefully I don't get in too much trouble with this thing. Until next time, have fun, and thanks for spending a little bit of your day with me. Goodbye.